Hello friends, welcome to my channel. Today we will be learning list data structure in Python. In AI and ML, Python is the foundation language, so we need to understand the basics of Python. And that's the reason I made this video. In this video, we will be covering what is list, how to access the value in list, and some important list methods. So let's get started. Uh, so Google Colab is used to write the Python code in the browser. And if you have a Google account, you can go to collab.research.google.com and then uh, just create a new notebook. And it's pretty simple. So uh, let's get started with the list. So basically, uh, list is a order sequence of object. And uh, uh, what this order sequence means is uh, each of the element stored in the list have some specific index and they are stored together in the memory. Uh, and then the items can have any different type. It can be a number, it can be a letter, uh, it can be a boon. So you can store any different types of items and have a different combinations. And the items stored are stored by the bracket the square bracket so let's create a small list so let's say i want to create a list one and store some strings inside that so i'm storing a b and c so if i need to print this so i can just list one so in this i'm storing a value string and it takes some time initially when you run the collab uh, because it creates a virtual server for you so it, it has a ram and disk it set it up now the next command should be pretty quick so let's see the type here so if i want to see what's the type of this list so i can just say type and then list one and uh, you see the, the classes list and uh, let's say if I want to store the numbers in this. So I say one, two, three, four, five, and then print the list two. So it has the numbers and let's say I want to store the combinations, different combinations. So let's say A and then I want to have B and then C and then so these are strings and I want to combine that with numbers. And then let's see list three. So that's what I said. It can have a combination of different data types. So that's the beauty of the list. Now let's see how to access the elements of the list. So in order to do that, so I'm just putting some heading so that when you read this collab, notebook it would be easy for you to understand so <clears throat> in order to access the elements we use the square brackets so it states with start the start of the index and then stop and then step over so let's see how it works so let's say if i want to use the list 4 I create a list 4 and then I say a and then P I store let's store some values in this C and then D and then E so you can see here like the values a B C D are given an indexed uh, when we create this list so let's print this list first and in order to access let's say the zeroth element so let's say we want to access the first element oops so list four so it's stored at element p so let's say i want to get the element from indexed zero to index t 
two. Oops, again the same problem. That's A and B. So uh, it starts, so it start the index, stop the index, and the step over. So when I'm giving index two, so it will give the value before the index two. So it ends at index two, the values before index two. And let's try the step over. So let's say if I want to do step over list four, and then let's say zero, and then let's say I go for four, and then let's say step over two. And if I print that, then it will A and C. So it's zero, one, two, and three, and four. So it is until here because stop whatever before. So, and then it stopped over, so it's at 1, and then jump to C. Now, let's say if I want to print all the elements, so there is a way. You can just don't put anything here, and then, so it shows all the elements. And let's say I want to access that from other way. So, it is this, and this, and you give minus 1. So, minus 1 actually, you read from here. So if I put this, it goes from the other way around. Okay, and that's more about accessing elements. So let's go over uh, some methods of list. So let's put the heading list methods. Oops, uh, let's make it okay. So let's start with append. So this actually helps to add value to a list. So let's say I have this list four and I want to print an value, let's say F there. And then if I print list four, then a value is added at the end of the list. Now let's say I want to insert a new value. So I use insert method and then list four, I need to define the index number here so let's say i want to insert the value at index 2 so i say index 2 and then i'll say what value i need to add so let's say i'm adding x and then i'll say list 4 so 0 1 2 so a new value access added here and uh, now let's say if i want to delete a value so i'll say for delete the method name is pop so i'll say list four and then dot pop so what it will do is it remove the last value so let's say what would be the list four and then if i run pop then it removed the last value and let's say i want to remove a specific value so let's say i'll say list four dot pop and I give the index number let's say I give the index number as 4 and then if I run list 4 and then so 0 1 2 3 4 so D is gone now because that's the we pop the index number 4 and uh, let's say if I want to have another method is uh, clear so well, let's go to first of all sort. So if I want to sort this, so what I can do is list four dot sort function. And then if I just run list four, then it would be in the sorted order A, B, C, A, X. So it's alphabetically sorted. And uh, uh, there is another method called clear. Let's say I want to clear the whole list. So list four dot clear and let's run the list for again okay now it's an empty list and uh, let's go to the last method that is range okay so let's say I create another list five and then it it is list and uh, range 
and then I can give like let's say 1 to 10 so what it will do is it will print a continuous value so that's that's why this method is used if you want to print some continuous values so it starts from 1 and end at 10 but whatever number before 10 so if I just draw so it start 1 2 3 4 until 9 so that's so that's the use if you want to have some continuous value so these are some important methods of list uh, so I think now you get some good idea about the list so to test you I have a small quiz what will be the output of payload Python code so there is a list and there is a print command so four options available uh, leave your answers in the comment section below and I will respond to your comments if you learned something from this video so please like share and subscribe to my channel and thank